approach trying to defend the, the rim? I mean, is it, and how have you grown in that area over your career? Yeah, I think that's where, where I'm the best at, when I can be sagging off a bit more off of my guy and, and helping my teammates, protecting the rim, being in the paint. Um, and, and yeah, you know, I just have to find the right balance when, when I have a guy like, for example, Olenek, you know, he can't shoot from outside. So there's situations where I have to be careful. I cannot sag off too much. Uh, so I have to find that right balance um, to be there for my teammates, but also make sure my guy is not wide open. Um, so yeah, we were, you know, uh, the coaches are putting me in that in that uh, role, and and I enjoy being in that role. What'd you think about the uh, putback dunk you had? Uh, the putback? Yeah. It was okay. Like live, <laughs> live, it was better. Like I watched the video on Twitter. I saw it. I was, ah, the angle was. Maybe from a different angle, it would look better, obviously. So it felt better than it looked. So it's okay. I give us six out of ten. <laughs> What's uh, the key for you guys to continue moving the ball on offense once Brad is reintegrated? Um, just keep playing the same way. I think uh, once Brad is back, we're, it's going to be even more attention off of Kuz, off of Tay, off of everybody. So myself. So looking forward to that. I think, yeah, we're. Things are clicking, and, and, and now we get Brad back. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be, uh, uh, we're gonna be with way more weapons, with way way more uh, force. So uh, I think I think you know, I think it's gonna be interesting. What do you think about Denny's game tonight? Denny was really good. As I said, Denny, uh, Denny was making the right reads, making the right plays, playing hard defense, doing everything that Denny needs to do to to. Uh, to have a good, good game, and, and I'm happy for him, uh, and he's he's important for us. You know, we need we need him to be at this at this level for us to be good, and he knows that, and he's always working. And happy for him to, to have a to have a solid all around game like tonight. Not a question about the game, but what does it mean to you that Latvia is uh, making it to the World Cup for the first time? So happy that well, uh, it's the first time in history, you know. So. Uh, the work that we did in the summer, uh, you know, we got those two important wins. Now we're in a window, and we pretty much needed one win to be 99% in. And things worked out for us. Uh, I don't know who had to lose, Turkey or somebody had to lose, win or whatever. All I know is we're in, and, uh, and yeah, we're gonna be going to uh, to Asia next next summer. And, and believe me, I'm I'm excited about that. How important is it for the team when Corey is able to hit threes like he was able to do tonight? Oh yeah, he, he's he's one of the best shooters on our team, and when he gets going, when he has that rhythm and, and that shot locked in, he's. I mean, they they have to choose, you know. If, if and what what I love about him is how good of a cutter he is. You know, he's making those cuts. He's he's as I said in the post game interview the on the court. He's like um, I don't know, it's his second or third year in the league. But he's playing like a 10 year vet in a lot of those situations. Like he's making the right reads, he's making hard cuts, like he's he's doing all the right things, like the small things, the important things, or maybe not the uh, visible things really well, you know, and, and that's that's helping the whole team. But that, those are things you don't see that he does and and uh, and yeah, he's you know, as as he gets even more more playing time and more uh, more opportunities, I think the the more he will show and, and tonight was an example of what he's capable of. Maybe sorry if someone asked this already, but with these three past wins, do they feel like individual wins and separate three separate games, or is it feeling like you guys are kind of building off of good habits now at all? I can speak for myself. For me, it's day by day. You know, tomorrow's another day. We got a tough team, Memphis, um, and 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 we got to go day by day. We're we're, we're you know. Of course, we want to take the momentum that we're, you know, playing with high confidence. Everybody's feeling good into the next game, but again, it's a completely different opponent, completely different situations, matchups, all that. So uh, we have to we have to prepare well for them and go game by game, situation by situation, and, and uh, yeah, and keep building. As I said, keep building off of those good things that we're doing. Uh, just time, I guess. You know, giving enough time to let my game breathe and. Uh, knock the rust off. And, um, nothing really changes for us how I prepared or what I did or what I ate for lunch today. Like it's just a matter of time. And, uh, and I mean that's not to say that I didn't feel great. Um, 
playing that well feels awesome. And I'm glad we got a win. That's a really good team. Um, they're playing really, really well. How important was it that you guys went on this streak without Beal? Oh, it's it's huge. I mean, obviously, everybody knows that he's our best player, and he's the the head of the snake. Um, and in order, and in not only to weather the storm, but to you know put together a winning streak when he's out is is huge. Um, we were struggling for a little bit, and you know, playing games like that only make us better because injuries happen. And when Brad goes out, um, God forbid, uh, we got to be able to play well. The ball's been sticking a little bit less in general, it looks like, at least from our point of view. What have you guys been doing in, in terms of, is it just recognizing the next action quicker? Or like, what's going well? Uh, it's just a team-wide emphasis, you know? Um, make the next play, um, move it around. And when, you, when you make those kind of plays, the ball you know, goes in more. We you know, made 13 or 16 threes tonight. Um, that's a testament to how we move the ball. Um, when you let it breathe and share it, uh, the ball finds the bottom of the net. So I'm um, hoping for more of that moving forward because we need to make, you know, we need to make threes at a high clip to win this league. Corey, when the team early this season, when they were struggling to not be able to hit threes, and Wes obviously trying to insult you guys to just keep shooting, how much pressure do you put on yourself knowing that that's a huge part of your game and a huge addition you bring to this Yeah, team? I mean, I try not to, but it's natural, right? Um, that's the reason why I made it to this league, and that's the reason that's that's my job. That's my job to go out there and shoot. And um, when the shots aren't falling, uh, it gets frustrating for sure. Um, but, you know, nights like tonight kind of make it all worth it when everything's clicking. And, you know, we play so many games, and there's so many opportunities that you're bound to put, to put together some hot streaks. and. Um, if you do the right thing over the course of 82 games, um, you're going to win a lot of them. Monte keeps telling us that he's still figuring things out. Can you guys tell that if he looks, you know, pretty seamless or like he's getting into his role from our Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, you, you, just, just like it took me time and it's still taking me time to get back from injury. Like, this is a brand new team for Monte. And um, he's an amazing player, great point guard, and he's leading our team. I mean, he's flirting with the triple double, it feels like, every night. Um, and whether. You know, whether or not he feels like he's still figuring it out or not, I mean, five, seven, and nine is a really, really good stat line. And um, he's the engine that makes our, makes our team go. And when he's um, at his best, we're at our best. So, you know, give him some time, and, you know, he's going to figure it out just like all of us are. Did you know that you were perfect in the field tonight? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, a miss would stand out tonight for sure. Uh, KP said that even though it's your second year in the league, you know, you have the game of a 10 year vet. I guess, where does that come from? Is that a lot of Gonzaga or just playing the right way? Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I credit a lot of my experience in college to how I play now. Um, just drilling it into your head, you know, as a college player, how to play the right way. And you stick out like a sore thumb over there if you don't. So um, it was just a natural step to come over here and do that. And that's the only way I know how to play. So. Thank you, KP, for telling, for saying that. That was very nice of you. Um, and I'll try to continue to play the right way um, and do the right thing, and, and hopefully we get you know we get paid as a team because of it. Obviously, it's maybe easy to point to this game, but I guess when did you first feel okay? You're finally back from injury. You just have your legs underneath you uh, into the flow of things. Yeah, I mean it was. I mean even as early as like last game. Last game in the game before, I felt pretty comfortable. Um, it's not like things are moving super fast. It's just getting back in the flow of the game. I mean, a lot of guys talk about flow and um, it's kind of cliche, but it's true. And um, tonight was the night where I really felt like I was in the flow of the game um, from the jump. So uh, my ankle feels great. Um, physically, I feel awesome. Uh, it's just a matter of time before the basketball stuff kind of comes along with it. I know you don't want to give spoilers, but uh, how good was the Black Panther movie? Yeah, it was really good. Really, really good. Go see it. <laughs>